Hello students, welcome to solve the classes. Today our topic is reasoning aptitude and here a passage is given, some informations are given in this passage. We have to read it and then we have to solve some questions. So at first, let's read the passage very carefully. Ravi, who is facing north, so it said that Ravi is facing north, starts from point A, works 4 meter towards the right. So Ravi was facing north, then he starts from point A and works for 4 meter towards the right. He then takes a left turn and works 3 meter and works 3 meter before taking a right turn. Now working 2 meter and stopping at point B. Seema starts from the same point A, works 2 meter towards the south. She then takes a left turn and works 4 meter. She now takes a right turn, works 2 meter before taking a left turn and working 2 meter and stopping at point C. So, here some informations are given about the movements of Ravi and Seema. So, on the given informations, uh, let's make a movement diagram. So. Let's consider this point as A and this is the starting point. This is the starting point. Now, uh, it was said that he works for 4 meters towards the right. So, for Ravi, this side is 4 meter towards the right. Then again, he then takes a right, uh, left turn and works 3 meter. Okay, so in this side, this is the left turn and this is Three meter. Now, before taking a right turn and working two meter, so again he took a right turn from this point and worked for two meter, and this is two meter. Now and stopping at point B. So let's consider this point as point B, where. Ravi, Ravi's end point. Now, let's go to Seema. Okay, so he starts, she starts from the same point, that is point A, and she works for 2 meter towards the south. So, this is 2 meter towards the south she then takes a left turn okay she then takes a left turn from this point here and works for four meter so this is four meter then she now takes a right turn and works two meter so from this point she took a right turn in this direction that is 2 meter and before taking a left turn walking 2 meter and stop at point C. So then she took a left turn and walked for 2 meter and this point is point C and this is Seema's end point. Okay, so we have prepared the movement diagram of both Ravi and Seema. Ravi's end point. So this is Ravi's uh, movement direction and this is Seema's movement direction. Now, let's go to the questions and... Uh, 
we know that this side is north this side is south this side is east and this side is west now let's go to our question okay so here is our first question and the question is if sima works 4 meter towards the north from point c then how far uh, will she be from point a so we have to find out that if sima works 4 meter towards north from point c that was um, her end point then how far will she be from point a so we will make this chart again so this is point a that was the starting point and we are here only uh, preparing the movement diagram of sima now then in this side this was 2 meter again this was 4 meter this is 2 meter and this is again 2 meter well this is also 4 meter and this is the end point that is d and this point was c so we said that if sima works 4 meter towards the north from point c so we draw this line 4 meter towards north from point c and we have to find out the distance between a and d so we have to find out this distance okay so uh, the required distance is the required distance is ad that is equals to here is 4 meter and here is 2 meter so this is equals to 4 plus 2 meter that is equals to 6 meter so uh, here option 3 that is 6 meter is the correct answer so if sima works 4 meter towards north from point c then uh, she will be 6 meter far away from point a so option 3 is the correct answer now here is the next question the question is how far and towards which direction must ravi walk in order to reach point c so we have to find out that how far and towards which direction so we have to find both the direction and the distance that must ravi walk in order to reach point c so from the figure it is very clear that ravi has to cover the distance bc okay um i'll again draw the diagram here is point a and then uh, here i am only doing the diag movement diagram of ravi so this is 4 meter in this side it was 3 meter again this was 2 meter and this is the end point of rabi now c was in this direction so we have to find out the direct the distance and direction of bc so uh, the distance of bc is in the south di uh, direction to reach at c so 
the direction is south and it is 7 meter because this direction was this distance was 3 meter because this is 3 meter and this distance is 4 meter so BC is equal to 3 plus 4 meter that is equal to 7 meter so here 7 meter towards the south that is option 5 is the correct answer so the direction and distance that Rabi must work in order to reach point C is 7 meter towards the south.